For some kids, this Easter holidays will be one they'll never forget. Sailability's Fun Day Out was hosted at Penrith Lakes during the school holidays, allowing kids to take to the lake and set sail. Days like this would be nearly impossible without the support and help of retired volunteers who want nothing more but to pass on their sailing knowledge. Volunteer Jack Hunt says it's definitely an enjoyable way to spend retirement. Well, I'm retired. I can sail. Uh, it's, what else would you like to do? Look, you know, lots of people have voluntary jobs and some of them aren't all that nice or whatever. This one, you're out in the open, you colourful sails in the background, around the water. What could be nicer for a retirement? Today's event aren't just for young children, however. Sailability encourages people of all ages to get out on the waters and have a go. It's encouraging people with disabilities to go out and learn new skills every day and to get them active in the community. The volunteers also say it's a very rewarding job for them. For volunteers, this is just one of the many days they put on at the lakes. Sailability often hosts group outings for childcare groups, school events and even nursing homes. And on Sunday, once a month, Come and Try Days encourage the general public to head down to Penrith Lakes and have a go. Volunteer Alan Sampson says offering his time is incredibly rewarding. And the best part? Smiley faces. <laughs> um, it's Well, it's somewhere that these people with disabilities can do something like this that they can't do anywhere else. It just gives them a bit of freedom, um, especially the ones that are more incapacitated. Um, they really love it. Even if you don't know how to sail, volunteers just like Jack and Alan are always willing to teach first timers because for these volunteers, sailability is more than just spending a day out on the lake, but a way they can give back to the community and teach new skills. To find out more information on how you can get involved, head to www.sailabilitynewsouthwales.org. This is Katie Beresford reporting for WS News.